Every year in March we mark International Women's Day, a day for celebrating women but also for highlighting the struggles and inequalities that still exist for women around the globe. This year the theme selected is Choose to Challenge. The Choose aspect of the theme feels especially poignant since the last few years have seen more people than ever come to realize that the work of social justice must not be passive or performative, it requires real engagement and an authentic commitment to action. It is also an important reminder to those of us that are in a position to choose that choice as a privilege unavailable to many, making it all the more important that those who can take a stand, do. The challenge aspect of the 2021 theme is a little more open to interpretation, and no doubt means different things to different women. For me it resonates most in the context of challenging stereotypes and societal norms since that is what so much of my work is really about, but challenge could also mean to confront discrimination or oppression, and it could mean to challenge yourself. This IWD I would like to challenge the idea that women's rights and disability rights are separate issues. Through the work of Professor Kimberley Crenshaw the world has come to know the term, intersectionality, but how many of us have taken steps to really understand the intersections that exist within the causes we care about, and truly examine our positions and potential biases? If you are a passionate feminist then it is your business to care about ableism, champion the causes of disabled women and amplify their voices. Disabled women are part of the norm, around 10% to be specific, that's nearly 17 million women in the UK alone. We are not merely a side issue to be sympathetic to, our rights and freedoms are entwined with yours. Within any marginalized group you are likely to still find a hierarchy that reflects the biases of the world around it. Despite best intentions we know that sexism still exists in the disabled community and that ableism absolutely exists within the feminist movement. And we're not just talking about a few bad apples either. Outdated and harmful views about disability are deeply ingrained and systemic so to address them we must be informed and wise to the issues. To give one example of the history here, I recently watched an excellent TEDx talk by Una Fonti, who has albinism and is legally blind. She explained the importance of intersectional feminism and referenced the support for eugenics among some important feminist figures in order to encourage wider support for abortion rights and birth control. Yes, that's right mid-century feminists argued that disabled people could be eradicated if women were given the ability to control their pregnancies, actually harnessing ableism as a tool to further an agenda that did not factor in the views or rights of disabled women. An ugly legacy and something that is rarely spoken about.